Hey guys, good morning. So it is Friday and I skipped Vlogmas Day 17. I um pretty much all I did was go to work and I went to bed early. So I I just I had nothing to talk about, so I skipped today. So I'm sorry about that. Um but today is Friday and um 10 o'clock. I work at 1. I'm actually texting my boss to see if she needs me or not because usually I just come in for the surgeries at the animal hospital on Mondays and Fridays and I looked at the book and we had a dental and usually she'll do that in the morning or she won't she doesn't really need me for the dental so fingers crossed she doesn't need me because I'm making a shopping list like I really need to go grocery shopping I really need to get out to the Target to get my like my last Christmas gift for a friend and I have no time to do it because my only day off is Sunday and I'm going somewhere this Sunday so I can't do both like it's just not it's not gonna happen so I'm really fingers crossed guys that she doesn't need me and the thing is I have to wait to hear from her because I wanna if I head out there like as soon as my hair is dry kind of thing like dry my hair and go like I could be late for work so I'm hoping she texts me soon saying no it's okay take the day you know it'd be great because I can go run some errands clean the apartment and study all in one day it'd be like ah you know and I it would just be really good. I really need a day for me to do a few things. So, yeah. And I'd like to say a big hello to my new subbies. Hi, guys. I've gotten a few this week, and I'm very excited to see you on here. I'm uh, very excited checking out other people's channels as well because I subscribe to some new people too. And it's fun just kind of like connecting and seeing other people and what's up. And, yeah. So, cross your fingers, guys, because... Krista needs the day off, like for real. <laughs> I really need a day for me. Like I need to hit the bank, I need to get groceries. I wanna cook food and like have real food, like not these quick meals that I've been doing. Like I really wanna make a vegan chili that I'm kinda concocting my own recipe for. Um, I mean, not really, but kinda. <laughs> so like I wanna make some food and I wanna go shopping and I just, I want a me day. Look at that. <laughs> Are you sleeping on mommy's recyclable bags? You know mommy has to go food shopping, right, hun hun? He's like, mommy, I don't care. My shopping bed bag. It's funny, because I totally bought him this new bed. Let me show you. Like, the little cat condo. I bought him this. And it's like super plush. It's got like cushioning in here. Maddie says, hey mommy, that looks interesting. Like, I would try it out if I could fit. You're like, you're kissing my hand. I got this for him and he won't sleep in it. Does anyone have that problem with their kitties? Okay, so good news. I ended up getting the day off, yay. And I just threw my hair up in a bun, it's still wet. It's kind of raining out and it's supposed to be colder today. But I really need to go grocery shopping, so I'm gonna get dressed and then I will come back to you. Hang on. Okay, guys, so I am dressed. I just got on some, like, some black sweatpants, white tank top, gray little sweater. Gonna throw on, like, a hoodie with it. Putting my sneakers on. Hi! <laughs> okay. So I think, all right, so I have to go to the bank first and put a check in and a little bit. Oh, look at this sweet girl. Hi, mama. What are you doing? Hello, mommy loves you. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Look at that. She's like, no, don't get in my viewfinder. <laughs> children so I'm making a list of some things I want to get I was gonna make I think I'm gonna do like a vegan chili and I want to get some like tortilla chips and salsa and things of that nature guys no fighting ladies <sighs> so yeah um gonna see if they have like the circular online mm. 
so that way I can see what's on sale if they have any fruits, veggies. I always like to look before I go. It kind of like amps me up. It's like, yeah, I'm going, woohoo, whatever. You know, stupid. <laughs> I can never find them online. Like, I have such issues with finding it. Why do I always have trouble finding this place? Oh, I have to go here. That's why. Food universe in a weekly circular. Enter in my zip code without saying it on the. If I could just leave this here. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna make a list, guys, and I'll, you know, talk to you when I get back home. I'll do like a food haul. So I will see you in my next clip. Hey guys, so I am back home, and I'm gonna share with you my tales of the grocery store because honestly you know first of all I'm going alone and you know I'm doing this whole vegan thing alone and you know I'm researching and I'm trying to learn new things and I actually got this really cool app on my cell phone it's called uh, is it vegan so <laughs> it's just this is it vegan and like there's a barcode scanner so you're just supposed to scan the food in the store and it lets you know if it's vegan you know it's supposed to be pretty accurate but unfortunately at the store it wasn't working the greatest because some of the products um, that I was looking at were like maybe the store brand or a cheaper brand and then I was hitting Google trying to like research is this brand vegan like and I was just uh my goal was to make vegan chili so I read online about the Boca burgers and things like that and they have the meat crumbles that those were the meat crumbles that they were vegan that they are vegan excuse me and I go to the section in the frozen aisle where they have like vegan vegetarian options like mostly vegetarian like Boca burgers morning star products and they have like one product from gardenia like I wish they had the full line there because I can walk there and whatever so they don't have it and they didn't have what I wanted. And immediately I'm like, holy shit, like th I was planning my whole meal around this. So I was like, whatever, I'll just get like the kidney beans and different beans. And I heard something about maybe it was Hormel chili, like a can of it that the sauce with like, you know, beans, like maybe I could just use that instead. And maybe I'll get mushrooms. And I don't know, the whole thing was just getting me down. But, you know, I was very like, ugh. And I was on the phone with a friend and the last aisle I was going to was the produce aisle because I wanted to, you know get some things there and I got lucky and I found from Gimme Lean this ground beef style and it is vegan so <laughs> I got that and I can use that to make my vegan chili so I am going to flip the camera over show you guys give you a rundown of what I got um yeah actually maybe I'll try and set the camera up here or maybe I could just hold it up and show you okay so in the frozen food section I read about this before about Amy's brand they have um, like burritos this one says non-dairy and I remember seeing a YouTube video before saying this one was vegan um, and it does say on the back too that it's certified vegan so that's even better so I got this just because I'm actually really hungry and I may eat this while I wait for other food tonight or I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat this now but something else I found and I I picked it up because of the label on top says has a little elephant it says Bombay Kitchen is the company and I was thinking about like for New Year's and Christmas how I'd always eat like little like prepackaged kind of things like like hors d'oeuvres and I'm like okay this is gonna be hard because I'm vegan but you know I'm going vegan few days now hey <laughs> but you know it's harder because you don't really know what you can eat and you're learning you got to educate yourself constantly so I just happened to get lucky because it says right on the package that it's vegan and I didn't even like look over at the stuff it says all natural no additives no preservatives you know product the USA blah 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 so I was excited so it's potato and peas samosas um, it's a turnover filled with a blend of peas, potatoes, and spices. It's got like, med it says medium spice, so I'm guessing it's a little bit above mild. But I mean, something different I can try. So I got that. I ended up getting two boxes of the Spanish style rice. I got two of these, the light red kidney beans that I'm gonna use. I got the Old Paso seasoning mix, which is just all 
lovely spices. So this is for chili. Um, and then I got some salsa. I got two of these. It's from Chi Chi's. It was mild pineapple, and I love pineapple salsa. I usually get it from Newman's, but they didn't have it, and Newman's brand was like almost six bucks at the store, and this was three and change, so that was a little bit better. And since I was there, I'm going to make my own pizzas this weekend, so I got a Francisco Rinaldi marinara sauce. And then I got another one. It's called a garden combo. It's like chunky and it's got like mushrooms and different stuff in it. So I thought that was great. And then of course I got extra mushrooms, which I don't know if I'll save that for the pizza or use it for the the other stuff. Um, and then of course I got myself a bag of tortilla chips. Um, I had to get these. I wanted to get the holiday Oreos, but they didn't have them there, and I was pissed. And plus, they're way too damn expensive. So I ended up getting these. They're the same thing, and I double-checked the ingredients to make sure there's no dairy. Um, and it was two for five, and, you know, not that I'm going to be shoving those down my throat, but I like a cookie now and then, so that will be for that. Then I found Tofurky Italian Sausage with Sun-Dried Tomatoes and Basil. It's meat-free, non-GMO. It's... Um, certified vegan as well so I thought this would be really good I can put this um, over the pizza you know I could do like sausage and mushroom vegan pizza and I need to get like a pepper though to put on the pizza too because I want some greens but that's what I got um, I am pretty hungry so it's between the burrito and the samosas what should I make guys like I don't even know I'm thinking I'll just make the burrito because I could just nuke it real quick so I'm going to go munch on this, and then I'm going to make my chili, and I'll show you how it comes out. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So I was going to tell you a little bit more about my shopping experience. And, like, I was feeling so overwhelmed in the supermarket. Like, I literally was about to go into tears because they didn't have what I wanted or what I thought I needed. I didn't know over in the produce aisle there was, like, the whole, like, vegan vegetable thingamajig jogs. And, like, <laughs> I was just like, come on, I'm trying to do this. You guys are making it hard for me. And, like, oh. Something I realized, which is very important, that I'm going to need to figure out some snackage for, like, when I get home in between work and, like, dinner time because sometimes if I make a sweet potato I need like 40 minutes before it's ready so okay yes I have my cookies which aren't the healthy snacks but they're a good little those are really should be a treat and there's always fruit but I'm out of fruit at the moment I didn't even pick any up like a moron but so I'm maybe thinking always always having on hand maybe some chips some salsa some kind of vegetable or dried fruit because yeah gotta keep the food up you know, or some Ritz crackers in between. But I want stuff that's not like, like wasting my calories. I want it to be nutritional too. So I guess I got to get in the habit of just keeping like fresh fruits and vegetables in. And then as a backup, chips and salsa in case I run out because it happens. So yeah. All right. I got to make this burrito and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh my God. How do I make this burrito? Can you Okay, so let's read the chili seasoning mix. It says, you will need one pound of lean ground beef, 
We've got this. Ooh, I didn't even check. Oh, it's 14 ounces. We're a little short, but that's okay. Because we're going to add extra beans. And then ha one and a half cups of water. One packet of chili seasoning mix. Ding! Then one jar of 16 ounces salsa, which I'll have exactly 16 ounces of this one. And 15 ounces of kidney beans drained. So I'll have to drain you because you're in here. So this is 16 ounces, so you'll make up for some of that. I'm going to throw in some corn, I think. Like, yeah. So this is going to happen. So brown beef, this fake thing. And 10 inch large scale. I don't know if like, are you supposed to put any oil or something in a pan when you're browning stuff? Like, guys, I'm the worst. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil, I think. Hang on a second. Oh god, that's wet. Don't care on the wet things. That's not a clean side of the stove off because there's a pan. Like, show and show and show and show. No mama was cooking the other day. Not like it was her. Salt. That's okay. She's mama and we love her. Can I clean all the dishes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so today sucks again like <sighs> word of advice when cooking a new recipe don't be talking on your damn phone because you're gonna not read something and totally mess up the whole thing so I'm putting everything together in the pot putting my beans in and then it's not as often I put the beans in like I'm pouring it in that I read on the side that cook dry beans in minutes no soaking there's like some kind of bean cooker or whatever I'm like what the hell do I have to cook these before and they're coming out so dry like you're supposed to rinse them and then you're supposed to add them to like six cups of water and like I fucked up my whole recipe like like I could maybe let this pretend this is like ugh I tried to scoop it out but it's taking all the seasoning with it and like my mom's like you gotta scoop it out I'm like it's too late I already added the corn like my only hope is to leave this on low for like 20 hours <laughs> and pray to god that it softens it's not gonna happen fucked it up I'm so mad, so mad. This would have been really good, and I ruined it, like. You know what, today just This is my hair, guys, what do you think? Just got it done. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm kidding, I just took it down, and it's like, the curls are like super curled, man. I gotta find a way to like style my curly hair. Cause it's just like this big poof ball right now, and it looks so bad. Anyone want to come tame my hair? I'm having a bad afternoon. Got the day off, but of course I managed to just look it up or whatever. So, you guys know I killed my chili. <sighs> my, my vegan chili is destroyed. I added water to the pot to try and cook those beans, and it's softening up, but it's going to take a while. I'm just like... <sighs> So annoyed because I was so excited. It's like, yeah, I'm doing something really good and it's gonna be amazing and sucks. So whatever. I decided to go play World of Warcraft for a while. It's like, okay, let me go level my tune. Ugh, this hair, I can't get over it. I'll try and fix it later. And then the freaking I like if you play, you know like 
when you're a lower level and you get into the dungeons and that's like when you can really get some good gear and that's when you get like good experience points da 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 and like to find a group to get into a dungeon if you are someone who only does dps if you're not a healer you're not a tank it takes a while to get into a group so i had to wait over 10 minutes to get into a group so maybe about like 11 to 12 minutes but you know i run around and i quest and i do other things in the meantime so I finally get my ass into this group, okay? And I say hi to everyone. Everyone's, you know, they're hello. They seem friendly. So I'm like, okay, good, finally. Getting some gear, killing some bosses, picked up the quest. Not even, like, halfway through it. Like, maybe three, you know, I don't know, a third of a way through the freaking thing. My, in like, I get disconnected from the server. I'm like, crap, let me get right back on. And I can't because the internet went out. And I had to reset the internet. So now I'm going back on. And there's no way the group still has me in there. Like, I thought it was just, like, lagging. And I'm like, mm, this is bad. I am still in the group. How am I still in the group? And the dungeon's been complete. Somehow I'm still in the group. This makes no sense. the dungeon's been complete. Somehow I'm still in the group, guys. This never happens. Like, usually it's like your SOL. Well, I'm gonna run through and see what happens. This guy's doing the same thing. He's running through. I'm gonna follow him. This is so weird. No. I don't even know. There's, like, bad guys over there. Yeah, there is. This is so freaking weird. Baby, I'm a 